Binder Jetting Binder jetting is a process where 3D object is created by bonding powder based material. Layer upon layer using selectively deposited liquid binder agent onto the powder bed. The binder usually comes in liquid form and the build material is in the powder form. Note, binder jetting was invented in Massachusetts Institute of Technology and was actually the first process to be called 3D printing. Binder jetting 3D printers comprises following parts. Note, you will see a 3D schematic representation of the binder jetting process. Powder dispenser. Powder dispenser contains the powder material to ensure constant supply of the powder during printing. Binder container. This container stores the binder in a liquid form and supplies it to the print heads. Print head. Print head consists of several nozzles where each nozzle ejects droplets of a binding agent to glue the layers of powder particles. Note, there are separate print heads to color the parts which work in tandem with binder print heads. Recoater blade. Recoater blade spreads a thin uniform layer of powder over the build platform. Build platform. Build platform supports powder layers and the object being printed and travel vertically in jet axis with the associated elevator mechanism. Workflow 3D digital data is supplied to the printer similar to other additive processes. Recoating blade spreads a thin layer of powder over the build platform. Then the print head moves horizontally along the X and Y axis of the machine and selectively deposits droplets of a binding agent according to the digital model data. When the first layer is complete, the build platform moves downwards. By the specified layer thickness and the blade recoats the surface with a new layer of powder. Again, the print head selectively deposits droplets of a binding agent and the process repeats until the whole model is complete. After printing, the unbound powder is left surrounded the object. Surrounded powder supports the part while the binder is being set or cured. Note, the object being printed is self-supported within the powder bed. Then the part is removed and the unbound excess powder is cleaned via pressurized air. Further, post-processing is often required because the parts are rough, porous and brittle in a green uncured condition when they come out of the printer. Note, depending on the material used, different post-processing steps are required. Post-processing generally includes curing of the binder, sintering, infiltration, and other surface finishing techniques such as coating, polishing, plating, and bead blasting. Note, sand casting molds do not require post-processing and are typically ready to use after printing. Post-processing such as infiltration and sintering is usually used for metal parts to reduce porosities and strengthen the part. Infiltration To achieve high density, the part will need to be infiltrated to fill up the voids left by the binding agent being burnt away in the furnace. This is usually done by applying molten bronze to infiltrate the void in the part via capillary action. Sintering. 
post printing the part is placed in a high temperature furnace where the binder is burnt out and the metal particles get sintered together to improve material strength sintering however can cause non uniform shrinkage to the part which needs to be taken into consideration at the design stage materials metals stainless steel inconel alloy tungsten carbide polymers acrylonitrile butadiene styrene polyamide polycarbonate ceramics glass advantages produces parts with a range of different materials and colors relatively faster than other additive processes large number of different binder powder combinations facilitates range of mechanical properties for different applications no support structures required as the surrounding powder provides necessary support cheaper compared to powder bed fusion and material jetting due to low cost material and joining methods since there is no heat involved in the process large and complex metal geometries can be printed without warping and distortion unused powder is fully recyclable resulting in reduction of waste and production cost disadvantages Usually unsuitable for structural parts due to the method of binding and limited strength. Despite the high speed of printing, additional post processing limits the productivity. Delivers lower mechanical properties than powder bed fusion parts. Parts are rough and brittle in their green state and may fracture during post processing. Binder jetting offers a limited material selection as compared to other additive processes. Application Complex casting molds and patterns, sand molds for sand casting. Full color prototype models for visualization and form fit testing high volume low cost metal parts.